Hi everyone. Today we're going to make delicious summer pizzas in a real wood-fired oven. And、uh, we just start with a nice little pizza dough here, made from some flour and semolina. And semolina is this coarse durum wheat that I'm using here, which has a nice high protein content, so that you get a good strong dough that you can make really thin. And I'm just going to start rolling it in semolina too, so that it gets extra crispy. And then I use the rolling pin to give it the right shape. Like this, and then it just needs to be massaged out. All the love you have in your arms, just about thirty centimeters. And a good pizza consists of three basic elements that you must be careful with: their good dough, tomato sauce that actually tastes of tomatoes, and fresh mozzarella. Don't use grated cheese. Fresh mozzarella. Remember, with pizzas, less is more, so don't pile it up with toppings. It just gets messy, and we want the crispy crust and bottom, and then mozzarella. And for a pizza of this size, you need about half a mozzarella of 125 grams. That's normal size that you get from Brooks and Grocery Store. And since it's a summer pizza, I'm thinking some asparagus, some fresh asparagus on top. Asparagus actually does well with a bit of fat, so this mortadella Italian sausage goes right on top. Perhaps some fresh tomatoes, just to keep it a bit Italiano, and then some smoked cheese. This one is without caraway seeds, a very mild smoked cheese that gives a light smoky taste and a creamy consistency on the pizza. Then we finish off with a tiny bit of olive oil, just to make Mama happy at home in Italy. Now we need to put it in the oven. I just need to make the oven ready for it. I've heated the oven up for half an hour to an hour so that it gets the perfect heat for the pizza. Then we just need to push the coals back like this. Then it's ready to be put in the oven. Now we bake it for about two and a half minutes, and then we just need to remember to turn the pizza and bake it for two and a half more. So about five minutes when the oven is piping hot like this, and it must be if we want that good crispy pizza, like that. So in order for it to be a real Danish summer asparagus pizza, I've also peeled some asparagus, just using a potato peeler, marinated in salt, pepper, olive oil, and lemon juice. Then we get that fresh asparagus taste here. And I can't help myself with this cress. How's that for nostalgia? You're back in grandmother's garden cottage. Bam! Some cress, and then it's done. And there you go. Bon appetit.